team in LND InfoTech, but we brought in some disruptors as well. Uh, there are people who have come from Infosys, from Accenture, from uh, Bank of America, uh, uh, from Mindtree, and so on and so forth. So, we have, you know, some, some of those names are, uh, you, you were all aware of those names, but uh, we are building a very strong team. A uh, very strong board, uh, our chairman is on the board, Mr. Subramanian, uh, Mr. Shankaran, who is the CFO of the company, is on the board as well. Very well supported by industry leaders on uh, IT, from accounting, from uh, banking, as well as private equity and wealth management side as well. Private men and venture capital side as well. People are our primary assets and they walk out every day. And uh, we need to be a very exciting place for our employees. So not only have the financial stability, but also an emotional activity, an emotional connect, as well as an intellectual commitment. Uh, commit. And we are investing very, very strongly in all our learning and capabilities which enhance our, our employees' uh, well-being on all these three aspects on a regular basis. And, and recognition from World HRD Congress is a testimony of, of what we are trying to do. With that, let me hand over to my colleague Ashok to just talk about some of the numbers. Thank you. Thank you, Sanjay, and good afternoon once again. Uh, a while debate around uh, the impact of disrupting technologies continue and all the discussions around non-linear business models, people remain a key part of this industry and for our company as well. So what could be a better place to start about financial numbers starting with people related metrics? You can see we have grown from 17,600 to 20,000 in the last three years which is a growth of about 7% year on year. Our revenue has grown much, much faster than that. And that reflects basically a lot of productivity gain which we have achieved over the last three years. And you can see in the second chart on the slide where our employee utilization has moved from 71.6% to 73.8%, which is uh, you know 220 basis point over a period of three years. While we are quite attractively placed in the mid cap segment as far as this number is concerned, the return on net worth, 44.5%, is the best number in the IT industry as far as India is concerned. So we have been using the capital provided by the shareholders very well, very efficiently, have been rewarding them, have been um, uh, uh, basically, you know, shareholders have no reason to be unhappy about this number. So this is one of the leading number and just one more data point which is not on the slide. As far as last year FY16 is concerned, we declared overall dividend of rupees 35.30 per share face value of 1 rupees. So that's, a, that's by any standard is a very, very good number. Now moving on to uh, some of the revenue thing, you can see we, we grew uh, in dollar term, 9.5%, but in rupee term, we grew actually 18%. And our revenue of $887 million actually comes, about 95% comes from the customers outside India. More than 97% comes outside LNT Group. And LNT Group, though, is gradually inching up. Uh, year before it was 1.6%, now it is about 2.6%. And as uh, Mr. Subramanian was telling that the kind of joint uh, opportunities which we see in the future, uh, we are very excited about that. Uh, the net profit number actually grew from 760 crore to 922 crore last year, which is a growth of 21.3%, 21.4%. You can see on the top of the slide 15.1%, 15.1% and 14.8%, that is actually profit after tax margin. That's very consistent over the years that we are kind of delivering 15% profit after tax margin. Now moving on further quickly, this is again gross margin and operating margin, nothing really to talk about it. As I mentioned, we are about 38 to 40% gross margin and 21 to 22% operating margin. Now, if you're asking, a uh, um, little unclear, you're talking about India, you're talking about LNT Group, you're talking about in India. Group. In India. You're talking about in India. Yes, sir. You're talking about India, what is the opportunity for LNT InfoTech? Yes. Look, uh, India is a, is a very different market, right, compared to the, the world. Our yes. market focus areas will continue to be the US and the Europe geographies. Europe, as uh, you know, we have pointed 
it out, it's only around 17 plus percentage. We want to take uh, serious steps in the Euro, Euro market to actually grow that number significantly in the next two, three years. The India market, we are very selective about the projects and programs that we will do. There are three areas which are focused for us. Along with LNT Group, we go and do smart uh, city projects, right? Smart world, smart city uh, projects. Second area is all about digital India. Uh, again, with the LNT Group, the you know the the whole construct as part of the digital India, the large programs we go on that. Then we are very selectively going after very turnkey, very strategic, large programs that Indian government is taking out with the, the defense, with the railways, with uh, CTDT, etc. And we are selectively bidding on those. So we are very, very careful, but our focus for the foreseeable time will still continue to be US and Europe geographies. Thank you so much. Uh, so Shilpa, you know I can't talk about the uh, future, but uh, as uh, Mr. Subramaniam already talked about, L&D Group and L&D Infotech have uh, presented their uh, plans. Uh, we believe we are very strategically placed in the world. I think uh, being at the right size company, we are able to uh, transform and change and invest into the business and bring value to the customers very, very uh, differently. I'm very happy with the kind of discussions and the quality, the quality of pipeline that we have today. I I can only say we are very optimistic about the future. But in two weeks time we'll definitely talk about some strategy. This is which I've been given. And a 12,100 crore valuation, this is about 30.2 times price to earning on a historic basis which is at a discount to where all the mid-cap is also large companies trade. On top of that, there is a discount for retail as well. And as uh, you know, as Sanjay highlighted, it is basically in line with the group's philosophy to leave money on the table for retail as also other shareholders and investors. You had a question, sir. Can you pick up on CSR? Pick up on CSR. Look, uh, we 